All right, so uh, let's get started. So, uh, you know, I just wanted to kick off the CXL micro conference. So, if you haven't met me, you know, my, my name is Adam Montanatis. I'm at, at Samsung. And, uh, uh, you know, Dan Williams, Ben Modaski, David Lord Wesso are, are also part of this uh, micro conference. And, you know, I, I see Dan there, I see his face, but I'm looking at it, right? So, so, you know, say hi, Dan. <laughs> and, and uh, uh, you know, I just wanted to, to, to say hello, kind of kick, kick off. and. Uh, from our side, you know, like I live in a limited world, right? Like, but CXL interest is very high, but it presents some interesting options for dealing with uh, uh, attaching memory to a system, as well as then there's accelerator uh, uh, in, in, in intricacies as well. And so it, it kind of opens up the world in some ways, right? To, of, of how to connect uh, uh, external devices that are cache coherent with the CPU. And so you get these flexible memory topologies. and. I want to say thanks to everyone for coming out here and listening to these talks and, and sort of learning about this ecosystem because this is fairly new. You know, it's been talked about. There's been similarity, uh, similar cash coherent things going on before, but it seems like the industry is coalescing around CXL. And you know, thank thank all of you for contributing and being part of this. And uh, I'd like to say that you know, representation from as many people as possible is always good for ecosystem success. Like part of this is for for ecosystem and. You know, to, today we have talks to people from Intel, Honor, uh, AMD, you know, Google, Samsung, right? And so, so it, at least like we're getting representation, some some broad representation now, which which is great, right? The, well, great. <laughs> so so we'll see. But uh, yes, the the it, it, I, I I'm very hopeful, right? That the partition rate is, is pretty diverse at this point, which is is great. And uh, I just want to say. Uh, for mailing list activity would always be good too, right? Right? Is that that is uh, you know it's moving in a certain direction, but uh, as many people would could come in and chime in, right? You know, help out with reviews and get more eyes on it is, is always good, right? And being part of the discussions and it, it, you know it is a known fact that hardware is uh, limited availability at this point, right? And, and there's multiple pieces in this picture, right? The, the CPUs, the the hardware, the, the the devices themselves, right? But there are options out there, right? So there's there's QMU. And so I would say just reach out to, to people here, right? Talk to us about the, some of the options that you have, and maybe we can talk about that. But there's QMU. Um, Dan has the CXL test for like mocking up CXL topologies uh, in the Linux kernel too, right? So, so you don't even have to leverage QMU. And we're here now, so I just want to say like meet each other, discuss CXL, uh, learn about use cases. Uh, you know, let's push the ecosystem uh, forward, and you know we spend the time in here, but you know meet, meet, reach out virtually as well. So yeah, you know, just participate, and you know, I'm I'm glad to win in the whole uh, micro conference uh, organizing me. Uh, you know, we're kind of on the same page. Let's you know, let's all get together, and, and I, the ideal stuff is like the more mailing list activity, right? Like um, I, I think Stephen said, like in the training for the BB, if we get more discussion on the mailing list that says, hey, we talked about this at Plumbers, like that's a successful Plumbers, right? So hopefully, hopefully this spurs more more discussion from others, and so I'll. Get out of the way here, and the, our first presenter is remote. And uh, so let me just give him the. Uh, 